Hello guys, welcome back to my channel VFX Expert. So guys, in this today's class, we are going to see King and composting inside new. So in our previous part, I have removed all the tracking marker from our this sort. This is actually output here from our previous class. So before starting this part, please watch my previous part. Link I have given in description. So now first take a post stamp node here. So again press tab and you take a post stamp node and just connect after this output here. So now after this, just I am going to start keying inside new here. So select this one, press one and just take a key light node here and just connect after this footage. So this output just we have to attach with our this source input here. So now in this properties panel, just we have to select this screen color. So simply just we have to check this one here, color picker. Now just we have to pick our screen color. So just pick this one. So now hold control and just click. So simply just we can pick our color. Now we have to press A and just we have to check our alpha. So just you can see. So at this white portion, just we have to make pure white and this uh, black area we have to make pure black which will be our transparent and this white area will be our open so now for just i am going to make this area pure black here so for this just we have to adjust this skin gain so now you can see this one here so now after we just i am going to make this area white so for this if you want you can adjust this alpha bias rgb so just we have to adjust this uh, green channel here. So simply just we can click and just we can update it here. So now you can see. Even if one, you can also just take a grade node here. So now just select this one, press G, double click here. Then in channel, just we have to select this alpha and just adjust this white value here. So now just we can see here. So now after this, again just we have to press A. So now after this, what we have to do? So just we have to take a copy node, now press K and just attach B input with our this output here, whichever after removing this tracking markers here. So now you can see this one and just A just we have to connect with our this mat here. Now select this one, press 1, now just take a pre-melt node. So press tab and just take a this pre-melt node. Now just we are getting this result and after this little bit just we have to blur all these edges here. So for this, after this, just we have to take a blur node. So now press B and just give a little bit some this blur value here. So now just you can see, so just we are getting this result here. Then before this blur, if one, you can also take a dilate node or erode filter node here. So just select this one, press tab and press tab and just take a erode filter. Now just we can see this one here. Then after this, we have to remove all these spells here. So for this, simply what we have to do. So just take a key light node. So press tab, then connect before this copy node. Now go to this uh, screen color. So RGB. So in green channel, just we have to make it one. So now if you will see, so just have removed all these spells from our this screen here. Then after this, we have to also restore our luminance value. So for this, what I'm going to do. So again, just simply take a merge node. So press M, B input, just we have to connect with our this key light. A with our original plate here. So this one. Here just I have removed all the tracking markers here. Then select this one, press 1. Now in this merge node, just we have to select operation minus. After this, just we have to take a merge node. This merge node, just we have to connect. After this key light, B input, K input, just we have to connect. This merge node here and then in operation, just we have to select this plus. Then after this minus, just we have to take a saturation node here. So now just we can see our spells here. So just we are getting this spells. Then after this minus node, press tab and you take a saturation node. And just connect it here and just make this saturation value zero. So now you can see this one here. Okay. So just I have removed all the spins from our this spins here and also just I have restore our luminance value. So now if you want to check this differences, so press B 
So just you can see all these luminance value here. So now after this, just we have to take a image, which images you want to place into this screen. So just I'm going to import it here. So this is our image here, which just I imported. So now after this, just we have to take a reformat node. So press tab and you take a reformat node. Now select this one, press one and just we have to reformat. Then after this, just we have to take a merge node. So press M. Then this will be our background here and this will be our foreground here. So just I am getting this result here. So just you can see then after this just we have to fit this image into our this screens here. So for this what we can do. So again just we have to select this merge node. Now just switch all these inputs here. So easily just we can see this image here. So simply just select this one and press shift X. So this will change these inputs here. So now after this just I am going to fit this image into our this uh, screen here so for this what we can do so simply select this one press one and just take a transform node and just we can select the transform and just we can resize it here according to requirement so maybe then after this we have to take a corner pin node so press tab and just take a corner pin node and just connect after the transform now you can see all these points here and just define all these properties one now just click on this from and just disable this corner pin node. Now press D and just move this point according to requirements here. Then go to this corner pin node and just click on copy from here. Then after this, just enable this corner pin node. Now here just we can place all these points according to your requirements here. Now just select this merge node, press 1. So now simply just you can see. So properly just we have to place. Then after this, just again select this merge node. Now press shift X. So this will again change these two inputs here. So now if you will see here, so just we are getting this result here. Then after this, actually just enable this one here because this actually disables here. So now press D. So just I have enabled this one. Now after this, what we have to do? So now if you will uh, move your plate, so actually you will see this image. Whatever images we have placed into this screen is not moving according to our this screen's movement here. So you can see. So again, go to this frame 56 where you have a fit this image into our this screens. Then after this, we have to track this sort and just we have to use tracking data here. So guys, in our previous part, I have already tracked this sort. So according to your sort movement, just you have to track your sort maybe with the help of 2D tracking or maybe planet tracking or maybe with the help of 3D tracking, okay? So now just I am going to use this tracker here. So again just select Control C copy and Control V just paste it here. Now just connect after this corner pin node here. Then double click on this tracker node. Then go to this transform and just select this match move and set to current frame. This again important thing here. Now just we have to check this output here. So now here if you will see, so this image is also just moving according to over this monitor screens here and this is just matching here. Now just you can see now press F and simply if you want to check play and check. Now just we have to play and check. So now you can see this result here. Then after this what we can do so again just we can actually use a grade node here. So just connect after this tracker here, now press G, just connect it here, now just reduce this gamma here, so simply what we can do, so now after this just I am going to create a light wrap here, so for this we have to take a light wrap node, so press tab and then take a light warp node, then this A input just we have to connect, so with this pre multi here, and B input just we have to connect with our this final output here. Now just select this one and press 1. Then double click on this light warp node. Then after this we have to check the generate warp only. So just we have to check this one. So now if you will see we are not getting anything here. So now just we have to adjust over this intensity value. So just you will get some light pop here. So you can see this one here. Then the diffuse, diffuse means just feather value here. So now you will see this one. 
so this is hard edges here and this little bit smooth edges here then if you want you can also just check this glue so according to the requirement just you can adjust this diffuse value even this intensity value here so maybe i think this one here then after this we have to take a merge node so press m so this output will be background and this light warp output will be your foreground here now just select this one press 1 and just connect it here now just simply just you can see this light warp here now if you will double click on this merge node so just you can adjust this this value here so simply just you can see on these edges here then double click on this again light walk and just simply just you can adjust all the diffuse and intensity this value according to requirements here so now finally just we have to play over this output here so simply just we can play and check over this sort here So guys, this is our final output here. So guys, till here I have completed over this class. So if you like this video, please watch, share, comment and subscribe my channel if you are still not subscribed my channel. So thanks for watching.